the Pope at that time in the mid to late 1400s. His son, Cesare Bogier, all right, during that time was Christopher Columbus because Christopher Columbus actually had contact with the Bogiers, man. That's right. And Queen Ferdinand, uh, Queen. King Ferdinand and Queen, Queen Isabella, Isabella yeah. all right? And that was during the time where they expelled all the Jews. And they used a guy named Torquemada. That all happened between uh, the, 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 the 1450s all the way up into, uh, uh, what is it, uh, uh, the 1500s, okay? And when Christopher Columbus went to the so-called New World, what, what was the first thing that they did? They, they said that the uh, natives, that the savages, had to accept Jesus. So that was the first deception. That was the, the beginning of their deception. Then later, about a hundred some odd years later, they went over to Africa, the western part of Africa, and brought our people over there, over over there to America. And what did they do? The slave master, they taught you about, they gave you their brand of uh, Christianity. The picture of Caesar. With the picture of Caesar, that same picture, man. The Jehovah Witness have that same picture. That's right, man. The Baptists have that same picture. The Catholics have that same picture. Yep. It's all a Roman Catholic version of that Jesus, man. To show you that all those churches are one and the same, man. That's right. Go that ahead. That he should deceive the nations no more till the thousand years should be fulfilled. And after that, he must be loosed a little season. That little season is about 500 years. You want to put a date on it? 1492, when the Columbus came over here up until this present day. So that's about 500 years. Yeah. Where they took down the tribes, the, the so-called, uh, uh, the 10 tribes, and um, they, 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 they brought against their, 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 their will the, the three tribes, which was Judah, Benjamin, and Levi. So we were all oppressed together. That's in Jeremiah, man. It said the children of Israel were oppressed together. So we know that's not talking about ancient Babylon. Go ahead, Ab. And I saw thrones, and they that sat upon them, and judgment was given unto them. And I saw them as the children of Israel. But there's a certain order. The Most High always has order. In the kingdom of heaven, you're going to have the 12 thrones. Then you're going to have the 144,000. Then you're going to have the one third. Then you're going to have the rest of Israel. Then you're going to have the other nations. That's called rank and file, man. Go ahead. And I saw thrones, and they that sat upon them, and judgment was given unto them, and I saw... We're going to get judgment in the kingdom. Who are we going to judge? The other nations. The saints shall judge. Saints. Yeah, the Bible says the saints shall judge. judge uh, so how in the hell are you going to get a white man in the kingdom of heaven? Or an African man, or an Egyptian, or a Moabite, or an Ammonite? Go ahead. Uh, and judgment was given unto them, and I saw the souls of them that were beheaded for the witness of Yahweh Shai and for the word of the Heavenly Father. That was talking about what? The disciples, the apostles. Yep. Did it happen back then? Yes, they had, their heads were chopped off. They were, they were slain. Go ahead. Uh, and, and, and I saw the souls of them that were beheaded for the witness of Yahweh Shai and for the word of the Heavenly Father and which had the not, Bible, the Bible. Go ahead. And which had not worshipped the beast, neither his image, neither has received his mark. Now, during the time of the Roman Empire, was the Romans instituting marks on people? And that word mark, if you go to the Greek, the word there is karagma. Go ahead. Neither his image, neither. You got my other books, the other two books. Can't speak the mark. Uh, neither had received this mark upon their foreheads or in their hands. And like the apostle said, the mark comes from the Greek word karagma, which means a thing inserted. So what is that? That's that chip. All right? All That's that chip. Which uh, the word uh, karagma goes back to the root word karax, which means a, a little pale. Uh, another word for pale is stick. So it's like a little tiny stick. Like a pale is something you put in the earth. 
to mark a boundary, a boundary. When you look up the word pale. So this is a tiny pail. The word Karax means a tiny pail. So that tiny pail is a, a tiny little stick that's put in the skin. Now just like you have pails to uh, mark a boundary, that pail that's being pushed in your skin is marking the boundary of the Israelites as being property of the elites. That's the elites way of saying, you my property now. Just like Pharaoh of old, he didn't want to let the children of Israel go. He said, no. They're, they're, I don't know any God. I don't know your God, Moses. And neither will I let your people go. In other words, they're my people. So the bankers, that's, they're the modern day Pharaoh. That's how they look at the children of Israel, the Israelites. They look at them as their people, which they can put chips in them. They can destroy them. They can do whatever they want with them because they look at them as their slaves. Now, and that's talking about us. Right. Now, this book right here, this is called uh, The World's Last Dick. And when we first came on YouTube, we went through all these books. So we're going back over them again, all right? The World's Last Dictator, uh, by uh, written by Dwight L. Kinman, right? Now this was first uh, uh, published in uh, 1993. It was uh, there was a reprint, updated version in 1995. Then the final, the one that I got was in 1999. I got this in 1999. Uh, copyright, uh, copyright, 93, 95, and 99. So this was way back in uh, 1999. Now I knew about the mark of the beast before, because they said you 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 listening to Alex Jones. Alex Jones didn't come on the scene until 1996. Yeah, he didn't invent the term the mark of the beast. Alex yeah. Jones didn't invent that term, right? And the main mark of the beast, which the word mark means sign, when you look it up, the main mark of the beast or his sign is that chip. That's the main thing that he's going to push for you Israelites to accept. And if you don't accept it, that's at the penalty of death. That's why you have your concentration camps. That's why you have your guillotines and the different torture instruments for those that don't accept that mark, which is the chip. And that's why in the scriptures, it says, he causeth all, both small and great, rich and poor, to receive that mark. So the day is coming when Esau is going to cause everyone to receive that mark. But of course, the elites, or the elect of Israel, they're not going to receive that mark. They're not going to take that mark. And some of us are going to be put to death for not uh, taking that mark. And some of us, the Lord is going to deliver us out of that, uh, uh, that uh, turmoil, out of that, um, out of that tribulation. And that's where faith comes in. But these other other groups, you notice, they're not talking like that. Because number one, they don't believe America's going to be destroyed. I can find it. I can find it. And number two, number two, they're not dealing with reality. All right? You got a precept? Yeah, we're going to get Micah. Bring it out. Uh, this is uh, Micah chapter 2, verse 10. Arise ye and depart. For this is not your rest. Because it is polluted, it shall destroy you, even with a sore destruction. That's right. And that's why, that's why earlier we said that the scriptures say that captive hasten to be uh, loosed. Because this place is polluted, man. And just like the scriptures say, it, it says it will destroy you. And this place has destroyed us. Look at what we're, re we're reduced to what? Slaves. Like a woman being mentioned. All right? The reality of it is we're total slaves, man. We've been destroyed. From what we used to be during the time of Solomon, you know, during the time of Moses after we came out of Egypt, we were like kings. We had plots of land. We had, um, you know, women. We had servants. Now look at us. We don't, basically, we don't have nothing. All right, even the so-called money that we use, it don't belong to us, it belongs to the elites. It belongs to Esau. The cars that we drive, that don't belong to us. That belongs to the so-called white man, the government. Don't pay your taxes on those cars and, and you'll find out that you don't really own that car. The house that you think you own, don't pay the taxes on the land. Even though you might be done with the mortgage, don't pay the taxes on the land. You'll find out you don't, you don't own that house. So basically, in reality, we don't own anything. We don't have nothing. You don't pay your car insurance and your registration fee. They're going to 
gonna cancel the insurance. Oh, don't pay your car insurance. They gonna cancel your registration. And guess what? They don't want the white man on tow your car. That's right. Even if you don't have a car, no. If you don't pay the insurance, they cancel the registration, and the cops come and tow your shit, so it's not yours. And you don't own your children either. Don't send them to these government schools and find out. They'll send a, 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 a police officer to your home. Yeah, going back to uh, HODC with that meeting, what yeah. are they going to do next? Have a school? You know how much time it takes? Well, we got to have a school, and we got to have a farm, and we got to do this, and we got to do that. Motherfucker, go out there and teach the word, man. Yeah, well, they're comfortable, you know? They haven't accepted... What about going out there and teaching the word, man? Yeah, that should have been top of the ethics. Like you had that code of ethics, there's 13 of them. Yeah. Number one should have been go out there and teach the word. That's the highest ethic. There should be one, but first of all, should be one go, out, ethic. go and read, teach the word, and that's it. That's that's the number one ethic. And, 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 and follow the scriptures. That's right. Matter of fact, uh, uh, Matthew, the commandment that Yahweh Shai gave, it still stands true today. Yeah, I wish I hasn't changed the commandment. Oh, yeah, that's a, that, that, yeah, that's the last thing that he said. Yeah, that's the last thing he And he didn't say go and take your woman on a picnic, man. That's right. Or, or, or make your own farm and shit like that. Yeah, did he not breathe upon the apostles and tell them receive the, uh, to receive the spirit of truth? Then he told them to go out there and teach the word. That's right. Uh, Matthew 12. Yeah. Go ahead, brother. Is that 10 o'clock? I'm sorry. This is, this is, uh, this is, Matthew chapter 28 verse 19. What does 18 say? It says, And Yahweh Shai came and spake unto them, saying, All power is given unto me in heaven and earth. Go ye therefore and teach all nations. Oh, go ye therefore and teach all nations. That's one of the reasons why we're in the, the, the uh, what do you call it, the general uh, concourse, uh, the, the highest gates of the city or the highest place of the city. Because all nations walk by and forth, right? So when we push out the word, the word will fall on those that hear it. You know, if it's meant for them, they'll come in. They'll start asking questions, and from there they can be taught, all right? But the point is we have to be out here. Okay, go ahead, bro. Go ye therefore and teach all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father. Now, why all nations? Because the nation of Israel is scattered among all nations. That's why we talk about the four corners of the earth. So that's 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 what we're supposed to do. We're supposed to go out and teach among all nations. Go on. Baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son. And that's a cut to those guys that don't want to deal with the name. It says baptizing them. The word baptism, when you look it up, it means to immerse. Now, you have the old baptism, which John the Baptist did, which is the baptism of water. But the scriptures tell us that the water represents the word. So when one is baptized, that means they totally get into the word. They totally get into this Bible. All right. So our job is to go out there and teach and to bring the students totally into the Bible. That's what it means to baptize them. Totally into the scriptures. Go ahead. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. And one of the things they got to learn is the name. The name of the Father. And his son, the, 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 the name of the father is Yahweh, his son's name is Yahweh Shai. That's one of the main things you got to learn when you first come into this knowledge, to be truly baptized. All right? And you're going to find out it's not God, it's not uh, Jesus, it's not Christ. All right? Those are Greek titles. When you come back to this knowledge, you find out that our language is Hebrew, ancient Hebrew. So for the name, for you to learn the name of the Heavenly Father and His Son, you have to know the ancient Hebrew. The scriptures say in the book of Jeremiah, what is it, uh, uh, 6 and 16, it says to ask for the old ways, seek the old paths. You go back to the old paths, who are speaking Hebrew, the Hebrew language. We call the name of the Most High in Hebrew. All right, we didn't say God or Lord or Jesus. We said Yahweh. All right. So you got to go back to the old paths, man. And that's all part of this teaching. That's all, that's another reason why we got to be out here on the streets. As a matter of fact, after you finish that, uh, Proverbs, the first chapter. Any more on that? Yeah, come. Verse 20. Teaching them to observe all things whatsoever I have commanded you. So that's the main ethic, Barack. Teaching on the streets. Yeah, you, 
used to do that. 